Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Playoffs Season 53, the last round of 64. We've got this way up, who is Mordredi, or Mordred, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this way up, definitely not pronounce that. Up against Runbad. An interesting pair of teams. Uh, the Dark Elves have an extra Apple and a Wizard. They don't have anything too exciting. They have zero guard, which is obviously pretty terrible. Um, but, you know, a fair amount of bloodstep and stuff. And a move-up fella. Meanwhile, Runbad is kind of... It's kind of a min-max team, if you like. Uh, three guard guys. Obviously, somebody else died. I guess if fewer died, that's why he's got three only with guard. But, um... Full claw pummer. Really great claw pummer. Jump up is exactly what you want for chorfs. Uh, claw mighty, which is pretty good. This frenzy at the end is, is bizarre. Um, but never mind. Sure hands, dirty player, and two nice bulls. So, um... I mean, I'd rather have tackle and guard on this bull, but I guess maybe he'd lost chores at the time, so he wanted the extra guard on, but I would have still definitely wanted tackle on both the bulls. But hey-ho, it's funny, isn't it, because you've got six tackle as standard, so it kind of seems stupid to want more tackle, but, you know, obviously the mobility and the strength four makes them fantastic for hitting things. Um, and 13 players total, so... It's it's a super interesting match. <laughs> super interesting. It's whether the claw pump can kill everything mostly, I guess. Well, we've got an instant removal. Maybe he's jamming the strength in there is like better for keeping him safe. But I guess you do want to hold the flank a little bit. Maybe the strength power should be hmm, here. Hobble, hobble next to him or something. Oh, Mordred, no, try to do it live, but um, Dimmy left and it was. Uh, I was I was shattered. I'd streamed for twelve hours straight at that point, and I was really tired. Fuck and, off, Dimmy. And honestly, like live matches, live matches are grim, right? Live matches are grim to cast. Um, and I, so, so I certainly wasn't going to do it on my own. Like doing it with Dimmy would have been fine, but I'm not going to do it on my own. There's not a chance. Not a chance of it. it you know, the, the the live match was only on. Only thought about doing it live because of Dimmy. Some good dodging here. They're just twos, but you know, those kind of things. With four reels, could possibly re-roll them. But you're almost certainly not going to re-roll these dodges, but it's nice to get them all, you know. These GFIs would have had to be re-rolled, I think. No, I probably wouldn't have had to be. But probably would have done. Just going to bang it in next turn, I guess. Maybe should have just dodged him off right, like he ran all the way around to tie him up, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, could have got all the way around here or something. Curl palm. <laughs> Nothing. Also nothing. Well, we should get another easy turn stall here. But a turn on top of that is going to be difficult. Instant surf. Unless he gets protected. Maybe this one will try. Definitely keeps himself. 
probably only see the reroll because I've had in four, right? I think with three, you probably don't reroll that. This is very layered, isn't it? Versus any break tackle bollocks. And just probably getting another turn of stall as well, like being able to collapse in a bit further. Greedy, the greedy jump up block. Which is fair enough, like I would as well, because you've kind of got to in a way, because you don't want to blitz him, and you don't want to blitz, you, know, you want to try and hit with a corp on, so. I diced. So, yeah, this is pretty shit pressure from run back. So, easy another turn of stall. this turn. Well there is the break tackle, two break tackles to think about. So I might bang it in anyway. And I guess couldn't. It gives you four turns to turn over as well but probably scared of break tackles and stuff. I think it's probably better to store for another turn. Big difference between five turns and four turns for chaffs. So yeah, I, I think I would. Think. But with a wizard, I guess mm, it's. Mm, I don't know. I think it's probably better to get the stall out. You know, with the claw bomber being down and out of the way. I quite like mitigating the claw pom risk there a little bit. I think I think I would have come from another turn still. But I mean I didn't calculate anything so normally for the break tackle was pretty easy. The movement nine and that. So double dodges are possible. With some you know, decent dice. Like not it doesn't take crazy dice for double dodges to be possible. So I would have wanted to stall for another turn, but it, it's not critical by any means. Yeah. I kick him, like obviously taking attrition is like the way to lose, right? You've only got 11 elves. But Runbad only has two hitters. Just the one is the best possible hit <laughs> in the whole of blood, bloody bowels. Good jump up. Tackle claw pommer. It's pretty good. Exposed to pressure on that side and around this side as well, actually. Particularly around here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not, it's not too crazy, but maybe it's one over, and then try to defend a bit more. Hello, Marco Polo, Biddy. So we come in with a with a bolt instantly. That's interesting because there's no edge to get through here. Oh, there's one guard. Oh, and there's no tackle here. But 
still, that's a double dodge. Oh, I wasn't. Not loving this, I gotta say. Not loving that wizard. Gets a fantastic result though with a stun as well. I guess all in on a clock. Didn't see the stand firm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. If you can, if you can push him and then just walk through on a two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've got to. It looks like it's a three-two, but just got to keep going. And worked out pretty well, didn't it? That <laughs> worked out pretty well. Dodges for the 3D. Oh my god, rolls a one. Oh, diamond tackle. No. But I mean, the problem here is, yeah, got to go all the way around for a better scatter. That was pretty good. That was pretty good from Run Bad. That was a pretty good. Oh man, diced. Absolutely diced. You have, to, you have to, you have to just do these dodges here. Just try to double dodge through. Yep, gets him. Has to re-roll this. I said. Good recovery though. I mean, not really a full recovery, but you know what I mean? Good turn. Good response turn from run back. Nah, Big Chi Chi, it was, I, w I was knackered and Dimmy left, so it was uh, it was easier to stop. Live matches are a bit crap. Reroll in. Wow, got some pick up. Oh, because your hands, okay, that makes more sense. But, uh, a dodgeless dodge. Yeah, the balls are very hard to contain. With less players in the field. Diamond tackle. Can't fish for a power because he'll sidestep to here. So maybe he's just blitz with a friend, oh, but then he hasn't got anything. He's got sidestep, so blitzing, like putting him in here. Like, you know, if he didn't have sidestep, he could put that other guy in there, and blitz from there and blitz him out to here. But with sidestep, I guess we've just got to go for the uh, four plus dodge. I mean, you don't have much choice about carrying on a ball when yes, your hand guy is being bolted. <laughs> and it's it's really good to get it on them, right? I mean, especially this guy, strength five. It's fantastic if you get it on it. If you get it on it. Now it's a three plus to go two nil up. <laughs> Oh yeah, I could just blitz him, even better. Could he have blitzed? Is that... Oh, he's strength five, he's needed all three assists. <laughs> God. No, following him up doesn't really matter, I guess. Alright, he's not going for the GFIs, okay. Okay, interesting. I wonder if there's an argument for dodging to here. 
Because then if that if that triggers, you're gone. <laughs> right? If you make the reroll, because if you go to here, then you you have to make another. You have to make a second dodge. But if you go there, it's a harder dodge. But if he uses, oh, there's tackle there. Okay, no, disregard. I didn't see the tackle. Well, it hasn't got tackle anyway. Dirt. Wow. Strength five, though, isn't he? So it's a, it's a two plus dodge to here. Into four. Well, it's a two plus dodge out anyway. You go. I think this is this way is pretty good. I don't know. I think it might be right to go. No, it's, no, it's totally wrong. Right, ignore me. Maybe it was right to go then. You know, just to try and pop the diamond tackle and not have to make a second dog. Not sure. Well, now it's a three plus to uh, to win, essentially. Crotch. <laughs> Classic cyanide. Well, this looks pretty bad for the chops. <laughs> some cats but I haven't been able to tee off with the claw pump because we've been scrapping for the ball and stuff a little bit Just received Big Chi Chi. He just received. That's how Runbad's got a turn eight right now. Just received, scored, then turned over with a wizard. Goes up 2 0, and now with 2 0, the 11 players can just uh, hang on, right? Good defensive Dakar on defense. Just try and hide as much as possible. Because if you have a few players, you should be alright like that. As long as you have players as elves, you've got a chance, haven't you? Though the players really aren't that good. <laughs> If Runbad should have had a rookie hob hobble on here to foul because he's got two hobbles, right? Where so then, since he's just a crap player, he could have fouled with a rookie hobble and then still had the dirty player guaranteed for the second half. Um, yes, Mr. Pages one was probably a while ago. Uh, probably not on YouTube yet, though it'll take a while to get them all on YouTube. Um, but they're starting to go up now for you day on YouTube, so... It'll still take like another week to get them all on YouTube, I think. So, 8, 9, 10, it's, yeah, still 11. And... Oh, that was a power apple. Was it? Oh yeah, because he got two. Yeah, so one apple gone. And he stays out. Still ten players on defense. We're going to try and play a normal defense. Interesting. 
not completely without risk. I mean, nothing's completely without risk, but you know what I mean. Like uh, this has got more potential to get you into trouble if uh, if you spot a chance and it doesn't work. <laughs> Quite like the claw corner in the end here, um, so you can hit the other hits first and then make the claw pom who has to follow at the end. This way up is more dread. Yes, Corpax. Because you have to follow with him right a pile, which now that means you lose this extra hit. So my word of advice for run bad is guy on the end with the claw pom. And anybody else. Doesn't make this a 3D. Not saying he should have done, because he would probably got some. Oh, no, I could have. I could have said this guy could have been there. So I could have done. This one's getting surfed though, right? This guard is getting surfed now. Potentially. Yeah, it's just for the strength of that build, but it's like, it's having a player there in case it fails, right? In case you dub skull. I mean, it can be. I've done that before. I, I've, I've put a player up in case the thing that I'm doing fails, and it looks like I'm getting an assist, but it was to cover for failure. I'm not going to serve him. I mean, gotta gotta cover, gotta like stop three assists. To be fair, be a huge commitment. At first, I thought, ooh, could serve him, but no, it's too hard with these two and so few players. Bit sad getting in the way of him getting up, but never mind. Does run bad noise 2 0 behind? Um, it's like a pretty nothing blitz, right? This is a fine blitz to make. If you're uh, if you're 1 0 behind and you're playing for overtime. But you're 2 0 behind, so you have to like blitzing this guy and pushing up the side, or blitzing this guy and pushing down the side. You've got to do one of those things, you've got to get forward pretty fucking quickly. Pretty quickly, mass mass pacing. He's not really doing. This is this is this does not reek of a desperation, you know. Three, four turn score. He just didn't get a lot of make. He didn't get a lot, make a lot of hits to be honest. So I can understand wanting to make hits. This is pretty good. This is pretty good though. Like that, that, that one there. Maybe should have been a team reroll because. Ooh. Okay. Wait, here's the blitz anyway. Okay. We're gonna hand off. Oh, was a snake, was it? Well, there you go. You don't wanna reroll that. You don't want to reroll. Well, th there could have been a tackle. Right? I don't know why there wasn't a tackle on it. <laughs> um, so here we go. Big handoff. Yep, and if he was one square further forward, he could have tried to score, couldn't he? If he'd been just, if he'd just been stood one square further forward, he could have tried to score that turn. Three GFIs, he's two one behind, and he's got five turns to turn over. Now, obviously, you want to do some damage before you try to turn over as well, because at the moment, you're not in a position to turn them over and score. You really do want to remove more players. So it's tough, it is it is really tough. You're only going to go one forward as you go two forward, so you can't just get pushed back out of range. Oh, 
Stockholm there. Get the assist for the guard. <laughs> the guard thing. Was that <laughs> was that a mistake? Oh man, get the wrestle down. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> God, God, hobble. <laughs> it was past midnight for me as well. Yeah. Alright, so now, now run bad hands off to the other bull. Before standing up that bull. We had a 2 plus dodge out to go somewhere with dodge. So like this guy could have just gone one, two, three, four, like to here, right? As a as a first move. One, two, three, cheer fight, yeah. Um, and then you've got two two plus with three rolls just to make things a bit safe. Also this guy was only three in, so couldn't have scored again. Which makes the handoff kinda of pointless. The double ones. Oh no, just a one this time. Mix of tackle. But I'd already used the real one on the, on the pick up. And the catch. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Oh no, the catch was the bull. Yeah, real old the pick up. Should have followed, should have picked it up. Way he picks it up. That's quite nice to make that dodge harder. Didn't even need break tackle. Didn't come on the side. Lovely. Him on the sideline. Not going for the surf. I'll put the diamond tackle on the On an uphill him. Double pound! <laughs> Okay. Wow. Well, fuck run bad, I guess. <laughs> Amazing. What a what a snaffle. Snaffles the ball away. Out of range of the tackle there. Oh man. Has it been a dicing? <sighs> not 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 so much, right? Not so much. He's got lucky to not take cars. And obviously with this bullshit here to for it to not be two one. Um But I think the main thing what from Rudbad's point of view, it didn't do very much to stop the score, right? Which went in. And then he got an unlucky scatter. I actually liked his blitz after the bolt steal. I like. It. I thought Rumba got really unlucky with the scatter there, but he was always on the back foot, wasn't he? So maybe he should have played that turn better somehow against the wizard there. Um, but yeah, I mean. Wizards in it, it's elves with a wizard. They don't need to dice you. <laughs> and yeah, okay, on another, on another day, run back to the mid-mall cars. But... Mm, 
point. But I mean, that doesn't matter, right? It's already lost at this point. Like, it's literally already over at that point. What's more interesting is the points before it was over. The, uh, the drive. The first half drive and the first half turnover. That They, they were the, the two and a half time it was over by then, right? Like, okay... Rumbad could have got super lucky to make a million cars and give himself a, a realistic chance at a 2 2. But um, once he's down 2 0, he's got to get super lucky to um, to get back. So nothing in this half really mattered. <laughs> what matters is the first half. Though the uphill double power was pretty disgusting. <laughs> Makes it a 3 0 instead of 2 1 or 3 1. But not super impactful to the end result, I don't think. Wow, the BM. Fouling with a guard. Classic run bad foul. Don't do nothing. Pathetic handoff, could have passed it. <laughs> Fair enough, obviously. Oh! Death save. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's fair. I, I would have also just handed off, like, especially with the GFI. Even without a GFI, I would have just, would have just handed off. But, um, you know, maybe it is better to do the pass and the catch even even with a GFI. It might be better. I don't really know how the odds and the SPPs work. It might honestly be better to, to do the pass even with the GFI. Um, no idea. But there you go. Congratulations to This Way Up slash Mordred. Commiserations to Runbad. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.